All right, so I'm out here in the garden trying to save some seeds. All right, so just an example. I was talking about earlier, I have some dill that I planted from seed. Just a few seeds produce a tall plant. I want to say about two feet or so, probably about three feet. All right, it's still producing dill for me, but it's starting to lean. Let me show you. All right, see, it's then leaned over. All right, it's about that time. So as you can see, some are still, I still have some dill. You see that? All right, but some I've already put up. The ends look like this still, but there are some that have already turned brown. You see that? You know what that is? That's actually the seeds. This is exactly what I used. These aren't exactly ready. These are a little green still. All right. But they're going to turn into this. See that? It's brown. These are the actual seeds. And they come off pretty easily. You just slide them right off. You see that? This is what I'm going to plant right back into the ground to get more dill for next year. So if you look, all of these, right, all of these are gonna turn. And when they do, I've already bagged up a few and it produces a lot of seeds. So I'll never have to buy dill seeds again. Um, and that was like a $2 pack of dill. So instead of cutting this down and throwing it away every year, and again, I still have dill, which I can dry and use that as seasoning. And I'm actually gonna do that. All right, I put it on my potatoes, especially when I use fish. It's like the perfect season for that. So again, a $2 pack will produce for as long as you want it to. Cause think when you plant it again, there's more seeds, all right? And that's just an example, all right?